Okay, let's get started setting up chat box. But before we get started, you will need Llama 3 set up using Olama. So if you haven't already done that, go ahead and check out the two videos down below on how to set up Olama on a Mac and a PC. And if you hang out to the end of the video, I'll show you how to use chat box to generate images also. All right, let's get started. Okay, in order to download chat box, what you're going to want to do is navigate to chatbotsai.com. Dot app. And what we're going to do here is go to the download section here. And based on the operating system that you are currently running on, it's going to dictate which version you are going to download. So I'm running on a M3 Mac. So I am going to go here and click M1, M2, and I am going to download that. So wherever this downloaded for you, go ahead and run the installer pretty straightforward and then open up the chat box application. I'll see you back here. Okay, once you open up chat box, it should look similar to this here. Yours may be slightly different depending on when you're watching this video and if you've got a more updated version. Now, I'm going to briefly go over the settings sections first before we jump into actually how to use the application. But like I mentioned previously in the video intro, you will need to have Olama set up and installed on your computer. So if you don't have Olama already set up, go check out the two videos down below in the description that shows you how to set up Olama on a Mac and PC, because that's what we're gonna be using for accessing our open source model. All right, now with that out of the way, let's go over here to the settings section down here. And one thing to call out, because like I said, we're gonna be using Olama. Now what you'll have to ensure is you have Olama selected here in the dropdown and this set as your address. Now we're gonna be using the Llama 3 model here. So we're going to select Llama 3 latest. Now the next setting here I will briefly go over here is the message count. Now this relates to how many messages the chat bot should remember. So by default it's set to 10 and so you can set this higher or lower here depending on how much memory you want the chat box to have. Now the next setting here of course if you're already familiar with working with large language models is the temperature. By default it's set to 0.8. I'll leave it set to 0.8 or now. Now another setting here that we can go up to the top here we can change languages so if English is not your first language you can change the language here and then you've got some um, other settings here that you can set and we can also change to dark or light mode I'm going to leave this as my system setting here now I'll go up to the top here and go to the chat setting now this is the default prompt that chat box will use when you set up new chat so I'm going to just leave that there for now and then you have some advanced settings here I won't go through all of these settings since I just want to get you up and running with chat box. but one thing to call out you can back up and restore your settings here. All right, so now that we've set our model that we're going to use, and now one thing to call out, this model here is system-wide for your chat box application, but we can granularly make changes to the model underneath as we create new chats. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click save here. Okay, after you hit save, you'll be brought back to the main application here. And if we go up to the top here, we can see that we are using Olama as our model provider and we can see that we're using Llama 3 latest as our model. So that's how you know what model you're currently using. And if we go over here to the left hand side, we can see that there's some built in prompts that Chatbox gives us when we first install the application here. And if we go further down, we can see that we can also create a new chat. So if I click here, I can create a new chat and you can see this untitled chat here. Now we can come here and click edit and name this chat. So I'll call this demo chat and click save. So that's how you can create a new chat there. And then here we have an option to use chat box to create images. And like I mentioned earlier, I'll show you how to do this. If you hang around to the end of the video, we will have to use an open AI key in order for us to do that. And then down here we have co-pilots. Think of co-pilots as custom prompts. So for example, maybe you wanna create a regular expression or you're having some difficulty with that, you could use this particular co-pilot here. So I can click on that here and we can see that Ed can create regular expressions. So I'm gonna say, create a regular expression for an email. And so we'll see that it is now processing and thinking about how it should go about completing this particular task. And now it's printed out the regular expression in order to use in a particular application. So that's how you would use a copilot. Feel free to play around with these different copilots as you see fit. You can also create your own new copilots here if you want to 
have a repeatable prompt that you want to use on a daily basis. So let's go up to the top here and just select just chat. And I'm going to say create sample Python code and see what we get. And we can see it's generating some sample Python code for us. Now, let's say we want to change the model that we are using for this particular chat session here within chatbot. We can go to the bottom here and click here on the settings and we can come back here and select a different model. And you can see there's quite a few models that you can use. Chatbot offers a model for a fee and then you've got OpenAI, Azure, Claude, Gemini and of course we're using Olama but you can use Gronk also if you're looking for near real-time response. So let's go ahead and change the model to use OpenAI and let's see how we can create images with chatbot. So I'm going to select OpenAI here and next I am going to hop over into the browser and log into my OpenAI account and grab my API. So I'll be back after I do that. Okay I've logged into my OpenAI account here now and what I'm going to want to do is go over to my API keys here and you can see I don't have currently any API keys created here so I'm going to want to click create new secret key and I'm just going to call this demo and then I am going to click create secret key okay we can see my key has now been created what you're going to want to do is copy this key here within your OpenAI account and hop back over to the chat box application. So I'll see you back there. All right, I've got my chat box application pulled back up here. Now in order to switch the model that we're going to use, let's go back over to settings here, click settings, and we have open AI already selected. And now let's paste our key here. And so I've now pasted my key and we'll leave all the other settings as default and click save here. All right. So now that I've clicked save, let's go and use the built-in prompt that chat box gives us here to create an image. So I'm gonna click this here and let's say create an image of a cat and see what we get back here. So we can see it's now generating images for us. And now if you notice towards the bottom here, we can see the model that we're using is OpenAI Dolly 3. And we now have the three images that have been created for us. So that's how you go about creating images with chat box. Now, I will show you one other thing. If you're looking at potentially exporting chats out of here, maybe you want to save them for future references. So let's go back over to just chat here and we can go up to the top over here and we can click export chat and we can export this either as HTML, text or markdown. So if you wanted to export your chats, that's how you would go about doing that. And then, of course, we can come up here at the very top and click clear all messages. Now, if you found this video helpful, you may like the two videos that show up on the screen. Also, if you found the content helpful, hit like, subscribe below. I try to put content like this out on a weekly basis. So again, thanks for hanging out to the end of the video and see you in the next one.